Super exciting news, our new book is available to pre-order. So we've been working on this book for the last couple of years. It's called The Veg Box. So we've taken the most, the 10 most popular veg, we've cooked them 10 different ways with 10 ingredients or less. Uh, it's available to pre-order in Ireland from eason's.com or .ie or else on Amazon. And pre-ordering it really does help us and help the book kind of get out to more people and to encourage people to eat more plant-based. So if you can, we'd be really grateful. Link down below. Yo dudes! Welcome to Pav Badji. This is one of the most famous street foods from Mumbai. Uh, we had a wonderful chef in our kitchen, Yamini, who was working, and this was her favorite food. So, in honor of the wonderful Yamini, we are making Pav Badji. So, first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna boil our veg. So, we literally have a pot of boiling water. Into that, I'm putting in a tablespoon of salt. Might seem like a lot, but it just helps cook down our veg and season it from within. Into that, I'm also putting a tablespoon of garam masala. So this will just, again, start to infuse it with more flavor. So I've approximately 800 grams of veg, or just under a kilo of veg. In it's going, I have some potatoes, which again, I chopped, try to chop all your veg to a similar size so it cooks at a similar speed. So I have potatoes, I have bell peppers, I have carrots, and I have cauliflower. Don't worry about how evenly chopped they all are, because in essence, we're gonna slightly mash this up to release its starch to thicken the sauce when we go to serve it. Put a lid on and then just leave that to boil for about 10 minutes. Okay, next up, we're gonna start with our sauce. Into the pan, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of oil, ever so slightly more. Uh, and into that, I've got one tablespoon of cumin seeds. This is gonna add texture and we want them to pop. So I've got one onion, which was just a white onion that we dice nice and finely. And then I've got about a half a thumb sized piece of ginger that I dice nice and finely. Just wait until that starts to heat up and you'll start to hear the cumin seeds start to just just starting to fry a little and then we're gonna add it in. Okay, cumin seeds are starting to pop. I'm gonna add in, we have one onion, which we've diced nice and finely. Uh, and I've got about half a thumb sized piece of ginger uh, diced nice and finely. And in that goes to start our base flavors. Add in a nice pinch of salt with that. So once the onions start to go nice and translucent, I have four cloves of garlic that I've diced nice and finely and in they go. The reason why we put them in later is just that garlic tends to cook quicker than onion and ginger. So once the onions start to char around the outside and the, the garlic starts to go nice and golden, time to add in our chopped tomatoes. So I have one 400 ml of chopped tomatoes. In that goes. I have 100 ml of water. I'm gonna pour it into the tin just to get any remaining water or any remaining tomatoes. And then I've got half a red chili. I like it medium hot, so I'm just going half a chili. If you like it real hot, go more. And if you're cooking it for your kids or someone that is less spice or more spice sensitive, just put less. Try to incorporate any bit that was st sticking to the pan just into the bottom now, just kind of deglaze it. Once that's cooked down for about three to four minutes, time to add in our spices. So, we traditionally pav bhaji masala would be mixed. We wanted to make this easier and just use a garam masala. So we've got one tablespoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of chili powder, and one teaspoon of ground turmeric. In they go. I've got one teaspoon of salt in there. I'm using a coarse sea salt. Use whatever you have. And then I've got four tablespoons of tomato puree, also known as tomato concentrate. So once all the spices and the tomato paste is all incorporated, most important thing, take a spoon and we're just gonna taste it. Mm. Wow, a lot of flavor, very balanced. Um, I'd give it a tiny little pinch more salt. Again, just season to your taste. If you like it more spicy, add more chili. If you like it as is, boom. If you want a little bit more salt, go for it. But just, again, season it to your own palate. So I'm gonna turn that down to a low heat while we drain our cooked or our boiled veg. Okay, this is the fun bit and it might seem strange. So we have our about 800 grams of veg, which has been boiled. I'm gonna pop it straight in. This is where it gets interesting. So traditionally, this is a street food where you kind of take it walking with you and it's served with a chapati, a fried chapati or a fried little bread roll. So what I'm gonna take here is a potato masher. I'm gonna pop in my peas and we're just gonna mash it so that they release their starch and it will thicken this sauce. Okay, once it's nice and mashed, I'm gonna turn it down to low heat and we're just gonna fry our bread or our chapatis uh, to serve our pav bhaji in. So I'm doing this on a griddle pan. You can do it on whatever you prefer. I just love the lines. 
So there is a recipe for chapatis down below if you want to make them yourselves. I'm simply taking, uh, these are vegan brioche buns, which we think are delicious. I'm just taking a pastry brush and I'm just going to rub some oil on the inside. It's just going to enable them to caramelize and just char a little bit more. Oh, nice. Lines are done, they look great. As you can see, I'm rather excited. Okay, so we have our little, you know, faux uh, chapatis. They are delicious now, really, really nice. Okay, time to serve this beautiful dish up. So I've just got a lovely, simple setup here. Traditionally, ghee would be served on top of it, in the middle of it, and allow just to melt into it, just to add an extra layer of fat. Uh, I'm just going straight in here. Gonna put a little bit of ghee. Traditionally, that'll be put. This is obviously vegan butter, just in case you're wondering. So on goes our bread, looking gorgeous. Oh, I love the lines, that looks beautiful. I've got some diced red onion just to go on the top. Uh, I've got a little bit of fresh coriander, a little bit to the side just in case you want more. And I'm just gonna put a, a few things of lime, a little bit on top, and boom. Okay, the way traditionally, at least the way I've never been to Mumbai, so please excuse me, but this is the way I've been told how it's eaten. So traditionally it's put on and it's kind of street food and often you'll use um, the bread just to go straight in. Mmm. It's really hearty. I think the combination of the bread just goes beautiful. There's a lot of flavor in that sauce. Like, it's beautiful. This is so tasty. Pav Baji, Mumbai. Massive thank you. Big shout out to our friend Yamini who inspired me to make this. Um, if you are wondering, we do have a new book out, as I mentioned at the start. It's called The Veg Box, where we take the 10 most used veg. We cook them 10 ways with only 10 ingredients. It's our best book yet. The ideal is to aim 30% of all food produced is waste. So the goal of this book is to inspire you to minimize food waste. Uh, we're super proud of it. It's our favorite book yet. Link down below to pre-order it. It really does help. Anyway, thank you for watching this. Wishing you a wonderful day. Bye.